Check the description if you'd like to support my channel through Patreon. Hey guys, it's Tungle Croc. I'm back with Majora's Mask. There's a friggin... Oh my god. I didn't even notice this before. There's a... Hidden passage behind that, but anyway. We're back with some Majora's Mask. I don't know if I said that, I forget. In the last episode, we beat the Snowhead Temple. In this episode, we're gonna do everything after the Snowhead Temple. Yep. <laughs> um... So yeah, what we're gonna do right now is go to the, uh... Fairy Shrine. In Snowhead Temple. I mean, I could die. If that's what's gonna happen. And I forgot I could just... Use the song of... Soaring. It's been two days since I... Played this. I am almost... Where my practice file was. Uh, We're close, anyway. Okay, so now we're back at Snowhead Temple. See, this fella right here is... Isn't sitting over there, and it seems like he's climbed up from the abyss. What does he say? Dormani, what in the world have I been doing this whole time? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look around Snowhead to figure out why spring wasn't coming. What am I doing sitting in a place like this? Okay, well... That's what happens whenever you use, um... Drugs. Oh no! Not drugs. Red potions. Red potions and green potions. To make you hallucinate. So, the Great Fairy Shrine is right here. Let's hop in. I, I'm i pretty sure I got all 15. Yeah, I did, I remember. Fairy! Drink some water. Water's good. Okay. She's green this time. Don't know why she's not white. Because it's snow. I guess green because it's spring now. Oh, wise young one, I'm the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I will give you something. I thought that was the last, uh, thing. But yeah, she gives us more magic power, I guess. That's what you can call it. Extended magic meter. Look at his eyes! <laughs> Your power has been enhanced. You now have twice as much magic power. Come see me when you're overcome by weariness. Okay. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um. So right now, because we're done with that, uh, we actually have to reset time now because we have to go back to the first day since it's the second day, right? Yeah. So I will reset time. St uh, stash rupees too. And then I have to have a hundred rupees, because what we're gonna go do is... ...get something a little special. So I will be back... ...soon. Okay, so now we're back at the mountain village. We'll notice... ...that the dreadful snow is back. What? Really? What? That's crazy, I didn't know that happened. That's crazy, he's he... Apparently the mask time travels back to his head. Anyway, so now that we're, we're back here and the snow is still here, we actually have to go back to Snowhead. And beat, um... Goat, once more. Uh, and the way you do that, it's pretty easy, you just walk in the temple, and there's a circle on the ground. That has like a Majora's Mask on it, I think. I'll show you when I get there. But you walk into it and you go right to the boss. Okay, so yeah. So as you can see, we walked into the temple. And Goat says, Ye who hold my remains. Return to the appointed place to face me. So yeah, he's basically... Telling you to get over here. And kick my ass. Which I gladly will. So yeah, just walk in here. Go right to the lair of the boss, and we'll beat this again, and we'll go back down to the mountain village. So I'll see you then. Okay, now that we're back, and it's springtime. Lovely old springtime. We're gonna walk into the, uh, lonely building in Mountain Village. Only building. Alright, so, when we walk in here, we see there's two guys. It's a big guy. Over here. It's a little guy over here, just lounging around. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, a customer? Gebora, fetch our customer some coffee, quick-like. 
Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to reforge your sword it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So would you like your ref sword reforged? Yeah! His nipples are showing. That's weird. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, now I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's like he's like a modified Goron hybrid. But anyway, we don't have a sword anymore. We are going to have it changed into a different sword. That kind of sucks, but anyway. Um, see, this place over here... Was that there before? I don't care. It's not necessary. I don't need to go in it. I like to finish games, you know? 100%, but... You know, not... Not completely. Don't fall in the water! Okay, so you see these guys changed to uh, gray wolfos instead of white wolfos. Uh, by the way, we're going back to the Goron city. Because we got something to do that is attached to the quest line for the sword. Oh my goodness, look at how nice this place looks now. No more snow. Oh, it's great. Hey, look at this. Huh? Huh? Man, that's all so cool. I can't wait to see what this place looks like in the Majora's Mask remake. So excited. So, we're gonna go over here, but you notice we can't get up here. As a Goron. So this guy's probably got, you know, not a lot of business. But anyway, we have to go down here as a Goron. Or else we can't talk to this guy, and as you can tell, this is used directly from Ocarina of Time, since a lot of the game is. But, this spot specifically was in Goron City. So let's talk to him. I'm the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Want a powder keg? Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Yeah. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here, using the powder keg I'm about to give you, then I'll approve you to carry them. Alright, so. Okay, so that's he's just telling us how to use it. It's pretty easy. So we gotta go to the Goron racetrack now. And as you can see, we can't go up hills with this. I have to throw it up. Like this. What a terrible spot for business. Oh, this is also timed. But anyway, um, we're just gonna go back to the mountain path or whatever it's called. So I'll meet you then. Okay, now that we're back at the mountain path, make sure you friggin' dodge the wolfos. You can't fall into the water as you remember as a Goron. I think I showed that. But if you fall in, you like die. Or whatever. Drown. Because Gorons are so heavy they can't swim. So, once we're here, we have to take it all the way up here. Oh crap. Wow, I can't believe I saved myself there. I'm running low on time. I can't be messing around. Alright, get up here. Come on! Oh my god. So normally we talk to the... What? <laughs> what? Oh no. No! No! Okay, so basically he says that he wants to get into the racetrack, but he can't get in. And he hates it. There we go. So yeah, that was a close one. Okay, break it. Jeez, I'll break it. Is it not gonna... Explode? Do it. Do it. There we go. Way to go, Darmy, that was cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. So yeah, it's a Goron racetrack. We were on the goat racetrack before, but now we're on the Goron racetrack. I hate this minigame. I hate it. I just, I don't want to do it. It's annoying, it's... The, uh, point of it is to obviously... Race. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because I can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, 
charge it up with the green jars on the course. So it's basically just like goat. Listen to the cheering. This race has a lot of uh, frame rate dips. Okay, so there's a lot of rubber banding. And if you get touched by a Goron, like they really want you. They just want to hit you so bad. If you get touched, you run in, like, you have the chance of getting, um, taken out of your spiked form, if you get hit. So that's a problem. If you get, if you go, like, if you, um, get hit and then you're slow, you get slow enough, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, this, the rubber banding is insane. It's like, more rubber banding than Mario Kart. I guess Mario Kart isn't too bad with rubber banding. Not anymore, anyway. It used to be terrible. So I'm in first place now, but... God, they're gonna be right behind me. So... Ah, oh God, I hate that. Rubber banding is the worst thing to ever be put in anything. Oh, God. Let's go! Can I win it on the first try? Oh, you s See that? I can't believe that. Friggin' rubber banding. You're just a little stiff because winter was so long. You're not really like this. Remember how good you really are? Then enter the races again. Yeah, so... <sighs> or that I would have won that if... But anyway, I'll do it again until I win. I'll be back. Oh my god, fu Finally? Did that guy beat me? That was great. I knew you were the fastest Goron Army. Finally. Oh my god. This is from Daddy. That's the prize. Okay, so this is... It's worth it. The minigame is worth it. 100% worth it. Uh, so let's leave here. And I believe we just have to go back to the goldsmith. Now. Er, the blacksmith. Okay. Skip to the second day. Yeah, we have to skip to the second day. Right here. Do it right here. Do you see that? What the? What's in here? A red roof. That's nice. Anyway, skip to the second day. Okay, look at that view. Whoa. He is so close to over here. I guess it's elevated. But anyway, let's go back into the gold s the blacksmith. He's not a goldsmith. Well, technically, but I don't know. Have that handy. Let's speak to him. I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? I mean, it's a cool looking sword. It's just... It kind of sucks. This new sharper blade is cut above the rest. Use it up to a hundred times. Without dulling the superior edge. After a hundred times, it turns back into the Kokiri sword. That sucks. Now here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before this sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make it the strongest sword around. See? That's why we got the gold dust. So... Oh, a customer? Okay... Hmm... Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? Yeah. Here, have it. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality. Why, even if I use it to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. Hey, give that back to me. Oh, okay. Free. That's fine. I don't have any more money, so... Alright, so, now... I don't think we have anything else to do, so we'll just go to the third day. Alright. So, back to the third day. One thing that I really... I really like what they're doing with the Majora's Mask 3D version is the uh, do Song of Double Time. You can choose how many hours you go ahead instead of just the standard however many hours it is. So now we'll talk to him. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Okay, now this is the sword. This is the, like, the master sword, right? Double damage of the Kokiri sword. And it will never break like the uh, Razor. So they can't make it any stronger. It'll never use its edge. And they got rid of the gold dust for me. So... I think we can just go back in time now. Let's see if there's anything else to do. 
No. So yeah, we'll go back in time. Now we have our good sword. As you can see, it's almost as tall as us. From the from the uh, neck down. I guess I should. I'll show you off the sword whenever we get back to the first day too. Okay, so now we're back to the first day. Look at that sword. Look at its look at its insane range and everything associated with it. Colors. Awesome. But anyway, let's go over here to East Clock Town. I want to show you a new rupee spot that we can go to. Uh, gotta get some uh, bunny ears on. Move a little faster. Oh, uh, what is my code? 15234. Oh yeah, you can't talk to him with bunny ears on. Forgot about that. 15234. Two, three, four? Yep, okay. I almost forgot it there for a second. Alright, so. Guess I should whip out my blast mask, because we'll need that here. Alright, so we just go into the bomber's um, hideout, and then go to the left in the water. That's a new spot that we can get some, uh, some roops. Watch out over here, though. There's a sculptula that falls down. So yeah, just do that. You don't even have to go get bombs with your blast mask. You open up the chest, and there is a hundred rupees. So I'm gonna go get the other 100 rupees out here. Okay, so to get the other 100 rupees, if you haven't seen it, or I didn't show it, you just run across here. Oh yeah, I did show it because I was talking about the speedrunners. So with this 200 rupees, we're going to go and buy a powder keg. Because if you remember, there is a Goron sitting at the uh, uh, bomb shop, and he's useful now. But we have to talk to him in Goron form. And it cost 200 rupees to do it. So, let's -a go in here. So, see, hi, Goron. There's a big bomb behind him. It looks pretty cool. Okay. Hey, pal. Oh, of all places, you're a Goron, so you can carry powder kegs, right? Huh? Do you mean you haven't been approved? Dang it! Dang it! I forgot to get approved! Oh, I'll be back. Okay, now that's done. Okay. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle power kegs on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test, but I was trying to take Alright, so now we got a powder keg. So... Yeah, I don't think we actually need to buy them anymore. 200 rupees gone. Um, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Milk Road now. I guess that's a good idea. This is where we're going to end off the episode. Once we get there. Alright. So, the thing we need the powder keg for... As you can probably tell, is this big rock that was there before. I mean, he's doing an alright job, but it won't be... Won't be gone till the, uh... Uh... Third day. Third morning. Is when that'll be gone. So I'll just sit here. Dance with him, I guess. Or not. <laughs> I guess not. So anyway, yeah. In the next episode, we're gonna be doing th some things over in, uh, Romani Ranch. Thank you for watching. If you want to support my channel in uh, other ways than watching ads, or if you don't want to use ads, my Patreon is in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye!